party shot from the a parting shot from the North Catasauqua playground here in North Catasauqua, Pennsylvania. Uh, Michael Phoenix here, founder of the magazine. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you, you had a great and safe uh, th Thanksgiving weekend and that you survived the Black Friday and Small Business Saturday insanity. <laughs> um, I was over in Bethlehem for Black Friday and I was hanging out on Main Street for the tree lighting and back over there on Saturday. So thankfully, I, s I came out without a scratch. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, every year I try to highlight, well, I'm actually trying to highlight it every, every, uh, different town every year. Unfortunately, the way with a lot of towns and cities in Lehigh Valley and approximately, give or take about nine days to jam and all the tree lightings, they get doubled up. This year, past couple of years, I hit Catasauqua. Honestly, I love Catasauqua, North Caddy, uh, small towns. Honestly, I, lo I really love the towns. But this year I saw that, uh, checked on Facebook, you know, today's Sunday. I figured, all right, I want to hit any tree lightings going on today. You know, some want to hit something today, you know, for the holidays. So I, so I checked on Facebook. Uh, oh, Caddy, North Caddy. Okay, cool. I'll hit that one. And then just want to give you a glimpse of some of the beautiful holiday decorations here in North Catasauqua. Um, and then... I was like, oh, I wonder when Northampton's having theirs. Well, Northampton had their same same night, say almost at the same time, with a half hour for Sandy to get in between the two. So I was like, eh, okay, tough choice. Let's say North Caddy. Let's say North Caddy, since I was over here in Catasauqua with, with family this, uh, tonight anyway. And I'll tell you what, Catasauqua, North Catasauqua, they really impressed me this, this past year when I hit their fall festival. And again, the North, over North Caddy Park, I, you know, I was expecting some minor, you know, small decorations, but when I got there, as you can tell from the video, it is, they did a fantastic job. It is beautiful over there. For it being a, a small town, and, um, North Catasauqua, by the way, is also called Small Town USA, in case you're wondering. And again, some more of the beautiful decorations, uh, in North Catasauqua, the way people de beautifully decorate their house in North Catasauqua and Lehigh Valley here. Um, but anyway... It was a great ceremony. I mean, two days ago, it was in the 50s for the for uh, Bethlehem Street Lighting. And I was loving it. I had my jacket, you know, just put my jacket on right before the tree lighting started and had a great... But th right now, tonight, it is your typical end of November, typical tree, uh, tree lighting ceremony weather. It is cold! My hands right now are freezing as I'm... Uh, Holding, holding the phone and camera right now. But, I mean, in all honesty, I love the warm weather. I loved it for the tree lighting, but this is, this is really puts you in the mood. To everyone involved, I mean, if you get a chance, if you're here visiting Lehigh Valley, if you live here, yes, go to the cities. They're fantastic. Main Street in Bethlehem, that'll put you in, that would really help put you in, this, in the holiday spirit. Automatic, you know, um, honestly, but make sure you get a chance to go into small towns and drive around a little bit, because as you can tell, they're also part of, of what's called the Lehigh Valley area. And as you can tell, the people go, the people do a, they're a great job in decorating and showing the, the world, the Lehigh Valley, the area in the world the holiday spirit with their decorations with their lights with how friendly they are so yeah definitely um if you get a chance if you are in the area uh look up the blue monkey or north catasauqua park on a Go on google maps or or the or your gps and stop out here they did a beautiful job decorating the park there was a gingerbread house competition which i did not vote in because i really they're all so well done. I couldn't really couldn't find, pick out a favorite if I had to, um, you know. So it's just, you know, definitely get over here to North Cat, take your drive to North Caddy in Catasauqua, and you know, take her out, drive around, look at the lights, you know, bring the family out, pull over, stop in the North Caddy Park, see the see the their beautiful tree and the way they really did a fantastic job lighting. Lighting up the park. 
And by the way, in case you're wondering, walking down Howardtown Road right now towards Catasauqua, which I may have actually crossed over into Catasauqua, I'm not 100 percent I can't even figure out the border exactly. Um, but anyway, um, as you can tell, people did a beautiful job decorating this year. And, you know, trying to really show show the world that that the cities aren't the only one in the area that aren't, aren't the only ones with the holiday and Christmas spirit. It is, it's beautiful. Now, I know I did, there is an, I did an editorial, which I still stand by about, you know, Christmas in Lehigh Valley and where is it, but you know what? Start walking around here and you, and, you know, especially in, the, in these small towns, and I'll tell you what, you figure out where, you, you learn where Chris, where the Chris, Christmas in the Valley really is. And you, you remind, you know, between the cities and towns here, seeing people walk around, you know, with their packages and everything. I'm not talking about the malls. I'm not talking about the shopping. I'm talking about just walking around, you know, especially after after sunset when the lights go on. Even I, I'm, I'm reminded of where exactly where and what the holiday and Christmas spirit here really is here in the Lehigh Valley. Take care, everybody, from... I think I actually officially crossed over into Catasauqua now. Um, I think. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, co the, the coverage of the North Catasauqua Festival. I left out some parts, but I just wanted to give you a quick idea of what it's like. If you're in the area next year visiting, um, and you're like pulling a four-day four weekend or something, and you're in the area on, su on Sunday night, I was informed that there's always the first Sunday the first Sunday after Thanksgiving is when they have it. So if you're pulling in, you know, if you're still in the area and haven't taken off to go home yet and you're visiting, please make sure that North Catasauqua and if Northampton does it again next year, please make sure to come into the small towns, stop by the North Catasauqua tree lighting. Um, it was, they did a fantastic job on it. Honestly, it was my first one. And make sure that you check out the small towns and how beautiful they are during this time of year. That's what, uh, now I'm reminded of why I miss this area so much when I lived in North Carolina. And you find out that between the cities and towns, what makes the Lehigh Valley so special and different during the Christmas holiday season. Take care, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the uh, lights. Hopefully you saw at least a few of them as I'm walking down. And take care, everybody. Michael Phoenix, founder of the magazine. To you, your family, and friends, please have a very happy and safe holiday season. Wishing you all the love, laughter, joy, friends, and family that the season's about. And don't forget, uh, if you have a chance, do something nice for somebody. You know, me also. And thank you so much for the support for officially over the past two and a half years now for the magazine. Thanks for everything. Take care. If you're in Lehigh Valley during the holiday season, you never know. You might see me around. Happy holidays.